E-cigarettes, electronic nicotine delivery systems, are devices designed to look like conventional cigarettes, cigars, or pipes. Uh, some look like pens, USB flash drives, and other everyday items. The products were first patented in 2003 and have been available for sale in the U.S. since 2007. Manufacturers of these products advertise them as safer than traditional forms of smoking and as a way to actually quit smoking. However, the jury is still out on the long-term health effects from e-cigarettes, and recent studies have shown a link between the use of e-cigarettes and bronchiolitis obliterans, a very serious and irreversible lung disease known as popcorn lung. Additionally, lawsuits are being filed against the manufacturers of e-cigarettes because the lithium ion batteries in the devices have been known to explode during normal operation and during the charging of the batteries, causing severe burns to users and causing property damage. Most of the fires with e-cigarettes occur while the device is being charged in a USB port. The problem appears to be that different USB ports put out different levels of voltage and current, which can cause the battery in the e-cigarette to overheat. In regard to popcorn lung, the lung disease is caused because many e-cigarettes are flavored with diacetyl. When this chemical is inhaled, it can cause scarring of the air sacs in the lungs, resulting in the thickening and narrowing of the airways. Symptoms of popcorn lung include coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath, similar to the symptoms of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. More than three million middle and high school students used e-cigarettes in 2015, making these devices the most utilized tobacco products among kids. There literally are hundreds of brands and thousands of flavors of e-cigarettes. Unfortunately, it was not until 2016 that the FDA even acquired the authority to regulate these devices, and formal science-based public hearings are not set to even begin until April of 2017.